Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Space Auroras. Auroras are some of the most beautiful natural occurrences that light up the night sky. But what we know of as the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern and Southern Lights, is actually a space phenomenon that is not unique to our planet. Auroras are also quite a bit more complicated than just pretty lights in the night sky. It starts with a stream of charged particles flowing out from our sun. This plasma is then deflected by the Earth's magnetic field. But the field acts kind of like a glove, snagging some of these plasma particles and pushing them along the magnetic field lines to the north and south poles. These particles then plunge into our atmosphere, colliding with the oxygen and nitrogen atoms. The collisions release energy in the form of light particles, also known as photons. And this is exactly what an aurora is energy from the sun exploding in our atmosphere. Scientists have discovered auroras on several other planets. Saturn and Jupiter have auroras so powerful that they heat up their entire atmospheres. Some scientists believe this could be why the planets are so warm, even though they are so far from the sun. The heat that is generated because of all those energy particles getting stuck in the atmospheres keeps the temperature warm. In fact, two of Jupiter's moons also experience auroras. Europa and Ganymede have colorful auroras, and so too does Comet 67P slash Churyumov Gerasimenko. Comets are able to form auroras when they are stricken by solar wind molecules that get stuck in the shroud of gas surrounding the comet. Did you know that? Number 9. Moon Cube just a few weeks ago, scientists all over the world were talking about the mysterious hut that a Chinese rover discovered on the moon. It all happened when China's U-22 rover spotted the object on the horizon, looking like the ramshackle hut of some kind of moon hermit. Speculation exploded, with some suggesting it could be the leftover ruin of some unknown moon civilization. Some said it could be an alien base. People were going wild with excitement and theories abounded. The wait is finally over, and China's rover has finally reached the mysterious object. It's now being called a moon cube, because it's nothing but a cube of rock. It took a few weeks of driving, but the rover is now close enough to see that the mysterious shack isn't so mysterious after all. It only looked so geometrically perfect from a distance because of light, perspective, and shadow. Now that the rover is close enough to see it in great detail, Scientists say it looks more like a rabbit than a hut. It even has small rocks in front of it that look like pieces of a carrot. Scientists have named the rock U2, same as the rover, which is Chinese for jade rabbit. What was almost an alien outpost on the moon is really just a crumbling piece of debris in the shape of a fuzzy earth animal. Number 8. Strands of Mystery At the core of the Milky Way galaxy, there are a multitude of strange features. Scientists have identified somewhere around 1,000 mysterious magnetic strands hovering in the center of our galaxy that they can't understand. The cluster of strands, like galactic pieces of hair, stretch for over 150 light years in length. Each strand is spaced equally from the next, creating a bizarre structure many millions of years old and very strange. It almost looks like a massive harp with all of its strings neatly lined up. But the nature of the strands is a mystery. Professors of physics and astronomy at Northwestern University believe each strand is made up of cosmic ray electrons with magnetic fields moving at about the speed of light. But their origin is elusive. The radiation is unlike what's left behind after major cosmic events like a supernova. One of the more bizarre theories is that the strands of magnetic matter could be the final vestiges of activity of a supermassive black hole. In the end, we don't yet know what these things are, what created them, or what relevance they have in the universe. Scientists are still trying to figure out the mystery of the galactic center, where all kinds of strange phenomena have been documented in recent years. What do you think the magnetic strands could be? Tell me your theories in the comments! Number 7. Aliens on Mars the Curiosity rover on Mars discovered a strange mixture of chemical elements that could point to the existence of alien life on the red planet. It's not a sure thing, but it does inspire some hope, if that's what you're into. The rover identified carbon in the sediment of the Gale crater during its travels there between August of 2012 and July of 2021. 24 powder samples were heated by the robot to separate each individual chemical. 
This revealed a variation of carbon-12 and carbon-13 isotopes. And if you know anything about the creation of life on our own planet, you'll know that carbon plays a key role. But the presence of the carbon may just be a coincidence. The carbon could have come from a molecular cloud of dust. Or it may have come from the conversion of CO2 to organic compounds through a process that has nothing to do with biology. It could have just been ultraviolet light and trace amounts of CO2. Or it could mean aliens. This last theory, and arguably the most interesting, is that microbes were converting methane through biological processes. This would mean life. What happened to that life, what it may have looked like, and how long it lasted before utter devastation is still a mystery. However, the samples of carbon-13 are almost identical to samples of carbon-13 found in Australia, from sediment over 2.7 billion years old. If there was life on Mars, it was probably a very, very long time ago. Number 6. Weird Space Rock People often get confused between comets and asteroids. They are both celestial objects, they both hang out in space, and so it's not surprising that they seem so similar. But they are very different. Comets come from the outer solar system and have elliptical orbits. Comets are filled with ice that then sublimates as they get closer to the sun, creating a dusty atmosphere that looks like a blazing tail. On the other hand, asteroids are found in the main asteroid belt of our galaxy, between the planet Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids have orbits more closely resembling the orbits of planets. They also aren't formed of ice, but are basically giant rocks. Scientists have now discovered a fascinating mixture of both. It's called, are you ready for it? 248370-2005-QN173. I know, that's a terrible name for anything. But you know, these are astronomers we're talking about, perhaps more focused on discovery than creative naming. The newly found space rock is a hybrid between a comet and an asteroid. It was found loitering in the asteroid belt, but it shows signs of outgassing as it gets near the sun. It also has the tail of a comet. Scientists have identified less than 10 of these strange hybrid objects. Henry Tsai of the Planetary Science Institute says 248370 is both an asteroid and a comet. It fits the physical definitions of a comet, but has the orbital pattern of an asteroid. It doesn't mean much in the grand scheme of things, but it's always fascinating when astronomers find new bodies out in space. Number 5. Mystery Object Astronomers were mapping radio waves across the universe when they discovered a celestial object unlike anything humans have ever encountered before. This object is releasing massive bursts of energy every 18 minutes. When it was first discovered, astronomers were shocked to see that its beams of radiation three times an hour were the brightest source of radio waves in the sky. Whatever this object is, it seems to be acting like a celestial lighthouse. Astronomers haven't identified it, but say it might be the remnant of a collapsed star with a very powerful magnetic field. It could be a dead neutron star, or a dead white dwarf, or something completely different. According to the astrophysicist at the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, the object appears and disappears every few hours. It's like a ghost, which is alarming because nothing else in the sky does that. And it's not even like it's too far away. The object is only 4,000 light years from Earth, practically in our backyard. Some have begun speculating that it could be some kind of alien mothership sending out radio waves. We just don't know how to read them. And while that would be amazing, maybe, chances are it's probably just a dead star. The problem is that scientists can't quite figure out how to look at it yet. All they know is that this invisible thing is there, and it's beaming out a relentless signal. What do you think it could be? Are you hoping it's alien life? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more videos about space and other discoveries. Number 4. Fresh Plutonium Scientists have made a very strange discovery from space right here on planet Earth. By studying a piece of the Earth's crust, which was gathered from the very bottom of the Pacific Ocean, scientists could reveal some extraordinary insight into the universe at large. When researchers brought the piece of crust out from the ocean, they found traces of a very rare form of plutonium. You've probably heard of plutonium before in the context of nuclear bombs. This is no surprise, considering plutonium comes from a volatile space event. 
This particular form of plutonium was forged when two neutron stars smashed into each other. The collision was so intense and powerful that it created what we call plutonium, sending it drifting through the endless vacuum of space until it eventually fell to Earth. And here's what's really going to surprise you. Scientists believe all heavy elements come from space, all from the violent death of stars. This means gold, silver, uranium, platinum, and plutonium. All this stuff is the result of exploding supernovas thousands of light years away. The next time you wear a piece of gold around your neck or a ring on your finger, remember you are actually wearing alien jewelry. Number 3. Weird Alien Worlds Since 2018, NASA has found over 5,000 alien worlds. Almost all of them are bizarre, but some are weirder than others. These worlds are referred to as exoplanets. Astronomers see them whenever they pass in front of bright stars and in the line of sight of a telescope. It sounds pretty basic, but scientists are able to find out a lot of information using this method. They can see the characteristics of exoplanets, like their size and shape, and sometimes even what they're made of. Let's take a look at some of the more outlandish planets found by NASA's Transitine Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. TOI-2109b orbits its star in only 16 hours and is only positioned 1.5 million miles away from it. To give you perspective, the Earth is 93 million miles from the Sun and orbits once a year. This proximity makes the temperature on TOI-2109b an outstanding 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Then there is GJ-367b, which orbits its Sun in 8 hours and has a daytime temperature of 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of these planets are also way bigger than our own. TOI 1634b is rocky just like Earth, but with a radius over two times our own. Then there are planets like TOI 700d, which is positioned in the habitable zone of its star and only 100 light years away. It's only a little bigger than Earth, about the same distance from its sun, and could even host life. Number 2. The Accident The Accident is a strange cosmic object that got its name after being discovered completely by accident. Get it? Creative, I know. It is technically a brown dwarf, yet it doesn't look anything like the over 2,000 brown dwarfs that astronomers have identified in our galaxy so far. Brown dwarfs form as if they will turn into stars, but never manage to generate enough mass to start a nuclear fusion. In other words, these are failed stars. In the case of the accident, it confused scientists because it appeared to be cold and old, but also extremely bright as if it were hot. This is weird for a brown dwarf because when they're young, they get extremely hot, then cool down and get dim as they grow older, like a red hot piece of metal being moved out of the fire. This brown dwarf is estimated at around 13 billion years old. That's over double the average age of all known brown dwarfs. It would have formed at the very beginning of the universe. What this suggests is that the brown dwarf was born at a time when the galaxy didn't have as much carbon in it as it does today. It was missing many of the molecules that we see in other brown dwarfs, leaving it uniquely bright as if still warm, yet undeniably cold and dead. Number 1. Saturn's Newest Moon Saturn has enough moons to make every other planet in the galaxy jealous. And in 2013, astronomers identified yet another one. They called it Peggy. She was found hiding at the edge of Saturn's A-ring. The tiny moon is only 1.2 miles wide, making it barely more than a floating pebble in the grand scheme of space. But in 2014, astronomers couldn't find Peggy. She had vanished. Planetary scientist Carl Murray believed Peggy was either thrown into the void of space or smashed apart in a collision with another one of Saturn's moons. Then, in 2015, Peggy came back. She was still there in 2016, but not fully intact. The moon had hit something, scraping a big chunk out of it. That small chunk is now an even smaller, miniature moon called Peggy B. Scientists even think that Peggy may have been the result of something hitting something else and breaking apart, causing a huge chunk of rock to get caught up in the gravitational pull of Saturn. It's pretty amazing because these things happen all the time. Moons come and go, just not in a single person's lifetime. These things happen over millions and millions of years. 
So it was pretty spectacular that we were able to watch the birth of one of these celestial objects in real time. If Earth ever managed to get itself a second moon, what do you think we should call it? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe for more awesome space videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!